Welcome back to another episode of Community Storytelling, season six. Thank you, Linda Lester. Lester Square, Linda's been with us since day one, one of our sponsors. And this season we have another sponsor, Tyler Taylor of Sassy, which has a long name, I'm gonna say it all for you, Successful Aging Solutions and Community Consulting. There you go. Thank you so much for both of these people for helping us get the show off the ground and sharing it with you at KCAT TV 15. So I have an artist with me now. And you know, art and math were two reasons why I went into radio because I didn't have to do either. And now I'm sitting next to a real artist and it's Nilgi Kurdi. Nilgun. Did I say, did, I That's didn't even okay. say it right, did I? <laughs> Nilgi, right. Nilga? Nilgun. Nilgun. Yes. Okay, we got it. Yes. You know? <laughs> and you're, where are you from? I'm from uh, Istanbul, Turkey. Oh my goodness, how many years have you been here? Uh, it's going to be 30 years uh, this January. Wow. Yes. Do you ever go back home? I do. I try to. I try to go back every year if I can. Yeah. Um, it's been um, like um, there was a four year gap uh, at some point that we couldn't go back when we uh, first bought our house in Los Angeles. Sure, I get it. <laughs> you know how it is. I do know it? how it <laughs> is. So that's uh, we were building our house and it was it was a saga. Um, so in that four years, I couldn't go back and it was, it was hard. It was so tough. Yeah. It was really tough. So now I, I do. Now, I, do we have any Turkish restaurants around here? Actually, yes, there is a really good one. Tell <laughs> in, us. In Sunnyvale. Uh, and there's a, there's another one opening up in Palo Alto. It's called May House. It's spelled M as in Mary, E-Y, house like a house. Uh-huh. Um, and it's owned by my uh, neighbor, there you, Omer. Okay, <laughs> there you go. And uh, we're just, we're just uh, being partnered with them too. So it's like I can vouch for um, their food. I put 30 pounds when he was putting, uh, you know, trying the food. And he was cooking all these delicious and wonderful Turkish food. He's from... Um, our gourmet section of Turkey uh -huh. uh, called Antakya. So are there a lot of carbs in Turkish food? Um, because if you said you gained 30 pounds. No, the reason was the qu he's, it's, so, it's <laughs> so good. And these guys are, you know, they're, they have a day job. They yeah. come home at 8 and start cooking this incredible yeah. food. Yeah. And we start eating at, at 10, 11. Now I'm, I become a health coach, by the way. And now I know why did I gain 30 pounds. <laughs> and um, so That's as a great. result, there's this incredible, we were the guinea pigs, the happy guinea pigs. <laughs> um, but I can watch for the food. And it's in Murphy uh, in Sunnyvale. Murphy Square, yes. M yeah. Yes, which is Restaurant uh, That Row. one is open. All right. And the Palo Alto will be open July 18. And then the, the name again? May House. Spell that? M is in Mary, E-Y. H O U S E. Got it. Okay. If you Google it, you'll get the okay. address. Okay. And them. now back to you, Milgan. You're an artist and you're a member of the art docents of Los Gatos, which celebrated 50th year. Yes. That's a big deal. It is a big deal. And, and it's a fabulous organization. It's for the schools. It's for K yes. through five, all the elementary schools and Fisher Middle School. Yes. So what yes. do you guys do there? It, we actually, um, to, if I may say so myself, we actually, all of us, uh, everyone who contributed, have a fabulous um, contribution. Um, we do many things. Uh, one of them is just literally just um, going to classrooms and teaching the kids. I art. did that for, yes, teaching art to kids. I did that for seven years when my kids um, go through the school. And we, in order to do that, we get a training. It's not like willy-nilly. I mean, we get, I believe it's 10 weeks. Okay. It's been a long time since But I, I think that. most of you are professional artists. Some of us. You don't have to be, by the way, because we're always looking for volunteers. So you mean just so, somebody who's at home with the coloring books could also qualify? Yes. <laughs> so I don't want to intimidate anyone. All we need is someone uh, who's willing and be you know, just enthusiastic and about art. What's better than hanging out with these young kids and having Absolutely. some fun with them? So now, if we didn't have the art docents, I'm afraid to ask, would there be any art classes in schools? No. Yeah. 
Art docents so. are the only ones at this moment who provide art in our, you know, in our school district. Right. And you can't imagine, if you have time, please volunteer and go look what art docents are doing in our school district. It's incredible work. Well, so we've got to talk about that beautiful mosaic of the cat that you guys just put up a couple months ago, I think, at Fisher Thank Middle you. School yes. on the wall to celebrate, I believe, the 50th anniversary. 50th anniversary. But who made that mosaic? Well, um, uh, the blue parts of the mosaic are done by uh, public. You know, we, we open up on April 23. We went to, um, you know, our park uh, right across from the um, post office. Town Plaza. So uh, we open up a stand and everyone. Really? The little kids, you know, big people, any, anyone who cared to do. How did I miss that? Yes. Yes, it was fabulous. It was really nice. So they did. I, of course, I set the sure. rules. Sure. You know, I just tell the them. The dimensions you know, and yes, this and that. Where you put the blue tile. Yes. We, I, you know, yeah. we kind of set the boundaries. And uh, so the blue dots uh, made by public, mostly, I had to kind sure, of change sure. a few things, I have to say. And then the rest of the uh, cat is done by me. I did the rest it's of it. It's beautiful. But all the organization and, you know, talking to, it's picking up the venue, talking to, um, you know, Fisher, um, um, and was um, there a reason why you picked Fisher Middle School, or it was just that they were the first to say, yes, we want it? Uh, I think there are many factors sure. okay. to it. And Rose Edmonds, our president, she did it all, actually. She did the hard work, as far as I'm concerned. I did the fun work, which is art. I did the art. She did all the organization, you know, the paperwork, all the, you know, like sign-ups. Um, Wonderful. So uh, it was it's a collaboration. Beautiful. It's beautiful. My husband also <laughs> <laughs> kind of pulled into it. Uh, he um, he cut the substrate. Yeah. The because um, it kind of required. He found this uh, different substrate that I don't normally use because it's such a big work. And normally, when you apply such a big work like that in a in a public space. You normally cut them and then apply it to the wall. We didn't really want to do that because of the dots. Uh -huh. I mean, it was going to show a little bit. And since it's a school and it was going to be, um, you know, lots of kids. and I, We yeah, just didn't want to do that. I get it. So he's a scientist and uh, he loves to a research A scientist things. and an artist. Oh, my. Yes, we have a lot of projects at home, too, <laughs> that way. Um, so he researched and he talked a bunch oh. of people at IBM. He works at IBM. Yeah. Um, to That's great. Know, chemists and, uh -huh. you know, all kinds of yeah. people. And they found this substrate and, um, and uh, they talked to people in that company. And it worked it out. I mean, even it, shipping that substrate was a story, actually, because it was going to cost a lot. And my husband is very, you know, frugal, so he doesn't want Art Dawson's, who's a nonprofit organization, would want to pay that much. So he figured it out. Another company who works with that company. <laughs> what a great story. <laughs> and Community um, effort. Exactly. So he, he <laughs> talked to them and explained to them, look, we're doing this, pro you know, nonprofit organization, um, you know, project. And we really, do you want to contribute? <laughs> you uh, yeah. us out? And is and it protected from the elements so nothing happens yes, to I it? Mean, we, 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 we just, mosaic is, that's why, I guess, that's the beauty of mosaic. Mm -hmm. um, it can be outdoors. It can be outdoors. Yeah. That's, uh, that's what fascinated me about mosaic. Uh, my love of mosaic, I think, started when I was very young, uh, growing up in Turkey um, in those years. I'm, I'm 54. So um, when I was young, in, by the Aegean, um, you could actually, if you hiked, mm -hmm. um, not in, in, in nowadays probably, but in, when we were kids, you could actually find, you know, ancient mosaics all over the place. Well, I was just of... in Petra, Jordan, yeah. and 
lot of mosaics all over the place yes. that are amazing that go back, you know, thousands of years. Yes. So I know so where they last. It, they do. <laughs> they do. So it's like it's within the land and uh -huh. I, I grew up with it. And then I spent four years when I was in college in Istanbul. I was a tour guide in Hagia Sophia. And Hagia Sophia, if you know... If I couldn't say Nilgen, I'm not going to be able to say that word. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of the biggest, yeah. you know, churches. Uh -huh. And nowadays, yeah. it's, um, it's a museum. It's full of mosaics, mm -hmm. ancient Byzantium mosaics. And I was, you know, Just I was in love with it. Yeah. I That's was in great. love with it. So I did not know um, how, you know how how it would influence me or my um, sense of art in the future. Mm -hmm. um, but then pandemic hit and um, life stopped, world stopped. Yeah. And um, I had an opportunity to get off from the hamster's role. <laughs> Because uh, I have two teenagers, so, yeah. you know, I was on that yeah, role, sure. like everybody else in yes, Silicon Valley. Yes, you were. And um, so I, I did what I wanted, always wanted to do, and I started my journey in mosaic art, seriously, a little bit seriously. I worked with, um, um, I took workshops with uh, Michael Kruzic, mm -hmm. who is a very uh, renowned artist in San Francisco. Um, so that's how my and I you, I know you have an Instagram account and I yes. I'm sure you have many pictures of your mosaics some, yeah. on there. How do some, how does somebody go look it up? Um, it's spelled like my name, which is N I L G U N N I L G U N, and it's my middle name E K E, and then my last name K U R D I. D -I. Got I it. Know. Okay, no, no. Maybe we'll I should have made it. Simple, we'll figure it out. So, you know, getting back to the art docents, you're celebrating your 50th year. And I know every year, I've been once, you have this fabulous art show that all 3,000 students, K through 5 and Fisher, participate in. Where does that happen? It happens at um, Fisher. Yeah, but I mean, who does that? But here in Los Gatos. Yeah. Our docents, it's magnificent. It is magnificent. It takes a lot of volunteer work. Uh, poor art docents. I, I, I have to confess I couldn't um, uh, participate this year as a volunteer. Um, we just, you know, they announced, like, we need volunteers because it takes a lot of work to frame all those um, artwork and hang them. Um, I know. It's amazing. There's the one committee who does that uh, tirelessly work for that art show and my kudos to them really and the show's in april what i Usually? believe i think so, it's in april yes, yeah yes um so yeah it's to something celebrate to celebrate kids art and it's wonderful and if you visit them you see little you know picassos and yeah. you know and it's just really they're they're fabulous and just the 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 fact that these kids i mean i can't imagine what they're feeling they're an artist. They are. They're an artist. They are. Even um, um, Ross Edmonds, our p president, put up some um, mosaic uh, workshop in our. She she put um, a, a, another um, class mm -hmm. in our program this year, and I really couldn't. As, you know, being a mosaic artist, I couldn't really picture it. I mean, I kind of contributed and and helped out, but I wasn't. Because, you know, since it's my thing, I was, I guess, thinking of it as a little bit more multidimensionally. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't quite see how it was going to work out. But Ross is quite organized and quite, like, you know, right. to the point. And at the end, you cannot imagine um, what those kids can do when yeah. the yeah. when these kids are given the opportunities and um, and just sheer a little bit of direction, little bit of direction and that's it the that's fabulous. variety of things yeah it's just yeah. unbelievable and all they do is little uh, mosaic um, squares and you cannot imagine the things that come out
The joy. The joy. The joy and the so, beauty. And yes. I, Art Dawson's are the ones who so, make that possible. I'm hoping we're going to get you a bunch of new volunteers. So I'm really hoping. How, what do they do? They go to the Art Dawson's of Los Gatos, Google it, it comes right up. Yes, yes. And usually what we do is uh, uh, on open houses in every um, school, open house uh, days at every school, like Fish, you know, um, Blossom Hill, uh, Lexington, um, Van Meter. Those are the big days sure, for us sure. um, for yeah. um, sign-ups mm -hmm. because our um, training days uh, start in September, I okay. believe. Well, but it's all in the website. Yeah. It's all in the website. Um, and it takes n nine weeks to ten weeks, I believe, the training. But when I say training, training should not intimidate anyone. It's not anyone. a chore. It's a fun it's thing. It's not. It's beautiful. I actually want to do that again because it's been such a long time because you learn art. I mean, I've learned so much through Art Docent about Art Docent about art. It's exhilarating, and once in a while we do um, um, like just field trips mm -hmm. to the young, to mom, or wherever you name it. That's or, great. Or um, we do once in a while uh, workshops. Um, we do. We just recently did a mosaic workshop. In, in Campbell, in, in a mosaic um, studio. So we do all kinds of fun things. So please come and join us. Sounds wonderful. Like. And thank you for bringing us these gorgeous flowers. Yes, like I might take them home. Please do, <laughs> that's for you actually. So, yes. so Nogan Curdy, but what's that middle name again? So we That's my actually maiden name. So what, spell it again? E-K-E. -E. Okay, because yeah. you do want to look her up because oh, I was looking at her Instagram photos last night and they're beautiful uh -huh. and you know you might find a new love and the next thing you know working with you that would be fabulous your your exuberance and your excitement and your passion for art is is wonderful and I'm so glad you're keeping it alive in kids because we lost it for several years when there was no more funding for art yes. so I'm so glad that here in Los Gatos we it's have happening. it and yes. Montessorino because I know, yeah, Dave's That's right, Dave's, in it Dave's too. too. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. yes. I, yeah. Oh, my goodness. What a show. Thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, your, your energy level is beyond. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, community storytelling. I love the show, and I love that you're watching with us. And thank you for being with us. You have a nomination. You go to kcat.org. Go to community storytelling. You'll see where you can nominate that person. Maybe that person's you. I'd love to sit down and meet you. Thank you again for being with us. I'm Lisa Chrysler, and you've been watching Community Storytelling on this wonderful station called KCAT TV 15. We'll see you soon. Come walk with me through Leicester Square, where, as Mr. Rogers would always say, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and it's always a beautiful day in Leicester Square. We're located at the corner of Los Gatos Boulevard and Blossom Hill Road, and there is so much variety here in Leicester Square. I think you can probably find anything you need. Linda Lester, we thank you in Los Gatos for all you do, and we thank you for bringing us such a fabulous neighborhood shopping center. Successful Aging Solutions and Community Consulting, also known as SASCC, or as we like to say, SASE, has been serving the needs of the 55 plus population for over 40 years. They're the team that created the Ride Senior Transportation and gives us the Outlook Community Newspaper. Learn more about their mission to make life better for all ages at www.sascc.org. And we thank Sassy for supporting KCAT TV 15.